Hello YouTubers. Today we're here on a beautiful sunny day. Check out seasonal uh, ramp pump repairs and check up, see if it's all good. February 23rd. Unusual weather for February in southwestern Ontario, Canada. On about that's with the clothes. Not much of a drop. Okay, the pickup. There's the hose. It's got a leak in it, so I got it shut off. Going into tank and then the pickup side. Okay. Slight dam with different level of weirs in it to let different types of water level out. Fully screened, stainless steel and aluminum mesh, stainless steel cone. Two inch pipe all the way through the culvert. And then it goes two inch on the 45s. Do a one inch reducer right around at the valve, jab underwater. Then it goes to one inch for a one inch ram. One inch ram will build you up a lot higher pressure than two inch, which is the original one I built. Maximum like five PSI. This is actually building up to 60 with it closed. The other one, like I said, five. Then, that feeding 345 gallons up. Quite a bit of gradient. Good 16 feet or so, maybe 20 feet. It pushes it up, fills all three in about one full day. Never did a GPA, gallons per, or GPM, gallons per minute on it, but it fell in the ravine. I still got to upgrade to plastic tanks. You don't want to rust because they are steel, but water based chemical was in it, the coolant for machines. Upgrade it to plastic. Not supposed to have galvanized for drinking water. Now, we'll see if there's any other leaks. I'll relieve the pressure. Maybe we'll get some water in the tank. My valve broke the ice on the tank, so I'll find out. Frequency changes for the pressure range. Slowly letting it out. You see its regular idle pressure. It'll be around 10 ish, 7 to 10. We're filling up the pipe. It's a half inch out pipe garden hose. Open it wide open. You see it leveling out around 7 ish. That's all it needs for pumping into our tank. Put 20 feet up. Let's go down here. Tanks are way up there. About 20 feet. Learned it from Engineer775 YouTube channel, Practical Preppers. Wrangler Star, who just said, 
just build it. Don't worry about all the math that Engineer 775 went through. Get up. Two inch ball belt. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to take my hand at replacing it and repairing it. Maybe. It goes into the tank and we got it washing itself out. Over the winter, this seemed to have de-threaded itself through the ice in this without breaking the pipe or splitting the pipe. Or it might have, by looks like it. Split the pipe as it froze and also broke my two inch valve, which is not very good. But they are pretty simple design. But it's a two inch. One inch filler. It felt it did fill all three at once with an air breather and overflow. So when it did overflow in a full 24 hours or less, you can always drain it out. Can't trust the water some days. Well, in springtime, can't. In fall time, due to it being field runoff water with a spring fed. So we do have fish coming up and down the streams. Anyways, enjoy your day. Please like and subscribe. Over now.